cat cow is performed on hands and knees and cat cow is also typically done with uh, the shoulders over the wrists but you can also make your stance a little longer so I've just put my hands forward and that will help you feel your spine better so cat cow is done in two ways the first way is typically done with the entire spine in sync so the neck mid back and lower back are all in sync so this is neutral position and to arch up you stick the butt out anterior pelvic tilt and look up and then undo that by curling the tailbone and looking down and rounding out now inhale you have to sink the breath with the movement and exhale round out look at your belly button and try to posteriorly pelvic tilt and maybe even lightly engage your glutes inhale So at the end of your inhale, you should be looking up and you can even try to arch more. So that was one way. The other way is if you try to move one vertebrae at a time, you only start from the hips and you roll upwards toward the spine. So I'm in neutral now and I'm going to tuck the tailbone under See, I just tucked my tailbone, but my head is still neutral. And I'm gonna keep trying to round out until I get to my neck. And now I'm in this cat position and I'm gonna leave my head here and then start to curl only the hips, one vertebrae at a time, until I get to my neck again and then I look up to complete the movement. So I can just pry it like so. And then round out. So those two ways of doing cat cow uh, are something that you should master and play with just to increase the way you can move your hips and your spinal mobility overall. So I hope that helps and subscribe so that you can see more of this series that's coming up real soon.